hello beautiful people of god welcome back to my channel hope you're fine hope you're great today in this tutorial i'll be teaching us how to fix your already made bra cups into your buster this is the bra cup i'm working with so previously in other tutorials i usually pad using wadding or breast pad or any type of interfacing that i have but for this project this person is a really small bus size has a really small her bus is 31 and a half okay so that's a really small bus size and apart from that she only has nipple i'm not i'm just saying this because of this tutorial not to bring the person down okay so there is really no difference between her bust point and under bust okay and when i tried to manipulate it was just around two inches um difference or even one and a half so in on this channel i have a tutorial on how to cut a bustier for a small bust size and that is the same procedure i used in cutting this bustier already okay so please watch that tutorial to know how to cut a bustier for a small bust size i've already cut the bustier on the lace fabric and also on the satin fabric i also cut the, the same bustier on another satin that will serve as my lining okay so you go and join the bustier together place the side front on the center front okay then you start joining from the lower part to where you have the cup or the cuff until the upper part then after joining you also get your lining fabric and join it as well so for the size of the black cup you would use her bust size is 31 and a half was 31 and a half so for me to make uh, a bra cup for her i'll be using a bra cup of 32 inches because i can't really find you can't really find bust 31 and a half in the uh, market so i'm using bra cup 32 inches okay so just if your bust size is 32 work with 32 if it's 34 work with 34 but you know that these bra cups come in even numbers okay you hardly see them in odd numbers so that's why i'm using bra cup 32 for her if i could find 30 i would have used 30 just so that uh the cup is not too much so to boost the confidence of this client okay so and that is why i'm using a bra cup just to have that feel of the bustier of the bust cup now this is the bra cup i'll go and fold it into two okay we want to fix it now i've sewn this the bustier okay on the lace and i've at, i've ironed it properly so that the inseam lays really flat so i'm going to use my pen or you can use a chalk i'm using a pen because it's a tutorial so that you would see to mark the middle of the bra cup okay you fold it into two and mark the midpoint okay so you flip the fabric to the wrong side you can see that the, the ironing makes everything lay flat you notch it and iron it so on the under bust line okay this is the under bust line you can see there's not so much cover around that point because it's a small bust size so we need to help this person with her bust by using this bra cup so i'm going to place uh, the midpoint so place the midpoint on the bra cup to the midpoint of the fabric okay that's the bust panel line so you go and place it and pin it down okay so you just want to make sure that the lower part of the bra cup sits directly on the under bust okay then the middle point of the bra cup sits right in between your seam line okay that's the bust pan line okay so you need to make sure that these things are in place then you pin it down so while pinning you, you need to also be looking at it to be sure that it's not moving around or that it hasn't uh, moved around so that you can pin it properly and after pinning you take it to the right side you can see it has only already elevated the bust side you can see it's looking as if it's already padded all right so you need to make sure that at, on the front or on the right side there is no squeezing there so you can see what this looks like very beautiful already okay it has given that a uh, padded look and beautiful look so what you do just be to go and stitch you can either hand tack or use your sewing machine to run stitches on these four points okay so this is method one i'm actually giving us two methods but method one is the one i really like to use there are about four methods i use in attaching a bra cup to a bust chair but for a small bust size i use one of these two methods okay and the best one for me is the first method now the second method is to after marking the middle point of your bra cup you also get uh, the, your bust pan line the mid, that middle point so you're going to place the midpoint of the bra cup on your bust pan line okay that line that middle line that you have sewn okay fold your seam together and pin okay so you are pinning only on the allowance okay on that allowance or that your allowance of half inch 
you can see under your allowance of half a using sewing the bo uh, bustier together you pin the midpoint of the bra cup to the place you had sewn to that place you had sewn that midpoint that you have sewn okay on the bustier already you can see the same line used in joining the bustier together okay so you you pin the middle point of the bra cup okay to the midpoint of your seam all right so you go and sew either directly on that seam line or at least one eighth of an inch away from the seam line if you can't get the seam line accurately okay you can now sew on at least one eighth of an inch okay away from the seam line okay starting from the under bust so i'll just go and do that okay so what you paid is the midpoint please i don't know who, the math person that is honking when i'm doing this tutorial all right so you just go and so at least one eighth of an inch away from your initial seam line that i used in joining the bustier together okay so while i do that i'll just go and run a straight stitch from the under brush to where the bra cup extends or to where the bra cup ends right so while you're sewing, you need to be looking at the under part or the lower part to be sure that you so you, you have sewn on the midpoint of the bra cup okay so I've gotten to the edge of the fabric or the bra cup so I'll go open it you can see so when I flip it this is the wrong side okay then you will not see the same line on the right side that's the beautiful thing about this uh, second process you will not see any same line on the right side okay so it has also given it a padded look you can see that so these are the two methods i use so this is it so just follow the method just follow the procedure you can rewind to see what i have just done okay fix the bra cup the midpoint of the bra cup to your bust pan line okay or the sewing allowance you used in joining the bra cup okay so this is how the right side would be then after doing this you're going to get your tailor's ham or your bust ironer okay your tailor's ham to uh, this is mine put it underneath and give it a very good press okay so this is method two all right but i really like the effect of the first method okay so this is how it comes i really like the effect of the first method so that's the one i usually use so when i stitch or tack it i just use i uh, just cut uh, pieces of the lace i use my soldering iron to trace out the the flowers or the fabric okay on the list then use my uh, gum my b6000 or b7000 or any fabric glue i have to fix uh list of uh, appliques on that part to cover up my stitch so i'm just going to do the other method on the other side just so we'll see the difference between the two methods both methods are uh, very very okay you can use the both methods so like what i did just place the midpoint of the bra cup to the midpoint of your seam line okay that's your post pan line then you go and pin directly on the under bust make sure that it's not shifting okay so you also pin the upper part make sure that the seam line the middle line is on your seam line that's very very important please that's a very important tip just so that it's not dislodging or it doesn't cup well so you pin then you also pin the sides all right so if you're new here you're welcome i love you so much thank you for joining me on this tutorial today thank you for tuning in please continue watching subscribe please and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified each time that i post a new video all right so you can see the one i have paid i haven't even stitched it down but i like the look and the effect of this other one even without ironing with my um tailor's arm it still looks better so i prefer this method of teaching it of tacking it down instead of teaching it uh, round okay so i just go and make little tackings you can use your needle and thread to do an invisible stitching okay but i like to use the sewing machine to tack it front and back okay just to do a repeated stitch okay just so that uh, 
it reinforces the bra up so it stays for a long time and it doesn't rip apart okay so i'm using a, a contrasting thread on the upper part but a matching thread on the lower part okay just because i wanted to see exactly what i'm doing that's why i'm using a contrasting thread on the upper part but please if you're working on yours make sure that you use a matching thread up and down so that your stitch line is nearly invisible you could also use an invisible thread if you have one okay so i've tacked one side i also go and tack on the under bust just make go back and forth about three to four times just to secure your stitches okay so i'm done with that of the under bust then you also flip it to the other side make sure that you, you cut off your excess thread so that everything is looking really neat okay so for whatever reason i'm taking that up and you're not seeing what i'm doing i'm totally removing stones on the lid so it doesn't get into my uh, uh, needle and break my needle all right so on the other side i also go and you know notch my thread keeps cutting for whatever reason and it's part of tailoring if your thread doesn't cut i don't know the type of machine you're using <laughs> all right so i also go and tack on the other side just like two or three four stitches okay just back and forth back and forth just to tighten up your stitches okay so at the upper part you can actually leave that one this one is actually optional but i like to secure every loose end you know so that the bra cup stays longer on your fabric like it stays till you are done with this dress and wants to discard it okay so that's why i need to you know tighten up all of these edges just four points okay so and you make little 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 tackings just so that it's not so obvious on the right side and when i flip this i promise you you wouldn't even see where i tacked it from all right so i've done these two methods so that you can see the look out or the finishing on both so you can see the first method is always sinking in but this one stands like you can see how it's standing but the other one keeps sinking in but when you wear it on your body to just pop up again but this one stands and stands to the to the test of time <laughs> so this is what it looks like okay now the bra cup is overlapping because uh, the bra size is really small so you can just go and also tack that area okay you can also go and hold it together and tack or you can just trim off you can just trim the bra cup to, where, to the point where it's touching okay but i like to tack it just pin it together and tack okay so this is what we have now you can see the part that we tacked the standing firmly very beautiful okay very very beautiful but the other ones keep sinking keep sinking so but when you wait on your body to just pop up i hope you enjoyed this tutorial so till i see you in my next turn i love you bye stay safe Mwah.